In social media, going viral is often desired, but when talking about pathogens, it's quite the opposite. With COVID-19, one must be thinking, how do viruses infect, and how does my immune system fight? Let's think of this concept as war. The skin and mucosa are like a wall to keep enemies out, while the immune system works like soldiers, waiting to fight when the wall is breached. The virus invades the body and attaches itself to a susceptible host cell, taking over the protein-making mechanisms to replicate. When this happens, interferon is released to warn other cells to build up antivirus proteins in preparation of a potential virus attack. Macrophages, the frontline soldiers, fight pathogens. When they need help, they send chemical messages to call in neutrophils. As these chemical messages are produced and released during sleep, insufficient sleep affects your immune response. These neutrophils aggressively eat pathogens on site, and when they die fighting, we see them as pus. The macrophages and neutrophils don't know specific fighting techniques, but kill whatever they view as enemies. This is our innate immune system. It has the situation under control in about a week, and the response is repeated if the same antigen attacks again. With the death of our frontline soldiers, help is sent for heavier reinforcements. If this first battle doesn't go very well, dendritic cells are like police that capture the pathogen from the battlefield and take them to lymph node headquarters so B and T cell strategists can determine how to best subdue them, creating a tailored response in about a week, resulting in a lag before the needed adaptive response. B cells contain a membrane-bound antibody that binds virus spikes. When they bind, the B cell duplicates to produce thousands of that specific antibody, which will bind to virus spikes and prevent them from connecting to a cell, thus neutralizing it. People can be tested for antibodies to determine whether they have an active or past infection. When proteins are newly made in cells, the MHC brings them to the surface. T cells scan the MHCs for foreign proteins. If found, they bind them and release enzymes to eliminate the infected cell without harming neighboring healthy cells. When some viruses block the shuttling of MHC, natural killer cells remove them in a similar manner. This is our adaptive immune system. Ultimately, the pathogen is cleared, and trained B and T cells are stored to ignite an immediate, powerful response to remove the pathogen before it sets in, if it attacks again. This ability to recall is the basis of vaccination. Enhancing this system is a successful cancer treatment called immunotherapy. Viruses affect us most when our immunity is low. Therefore, we must take precautions to maintain our immunity, such as exercising, eating and sleeping well, and maintaining our hygiene. It's that simple.